Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we have this interesting exponential equation. And here we have 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of y plus 8 to the power of z equals to 328. Okay. And we are told if x, y, and z are natural numbers, then find the number of ordered pairs. Okay. So, we are going to proceed to solve this problem without wasting time. So, let's just do that. Here we have 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of y plus 8 to the power of c equals to 328. Okay? So, let's try and reduce this 4 power y and 8 power z to base 2 okay so we're gonna have 2 power x plus 2 raised to the power of 2 power y plus 2 raised to the power of 3 you know 2 raised to the power of 3 is 8 okay so this will be all raised to the power of z and it is equals to 328 okay so we can multiply these together right so you're gonna have 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of 2 times y is 2y plus 2 to the power of 3 times z is 3z equals to 328 okay so let's consider these conditions if x okay this one here then 2y okay and 3c if these three can be equals to we have a comma b comma c where a is less than or equals to b and b is less than or equals to c so right now this condition that x 2y 3c equals to this doesn't mean that x is equals to a and 2y is equals to b and 3c is equal to c no this is not what this condition states this condition simply means that x can be any of these a b or c and 2y can be any of these and 3c can be any of these so at this stage we don't really know which is x okay but what we know that the value of a is the smallest okay and the largest value among these pairs will be c okay so the smallest values among these pairs will be a and the largest values among these pairs will be c okay so let's concentrate on those conditions so right now if this purse is equal to this purse okay that means any of these can be 2 to the power of a plus 2 to the power of b plus 2 to the power of c which is equals to 3 to 8 okay any of these can take either a or b or c for now till when we get to the final solution then we will know which is a and which is b and which is c okay so in order to get to the solution of this problem we need to convert this 328 to binary okay so let's quickly convert 328 to binaries okay so i have drawn everything already so i have two here and i have 328 here okay so two goes into 328 164 okay 
and you have the remainder to be remainder zero okay and two goes into 164 we have 82 and you have remainder zero okay and two goes into 82 you have 41 and you have remainder zero and two again goes into 41 you have 20 and you have remainder one and two goes into 20 you have 10 and you have remainder zero and two goes into 10 you have five and you have remainder zero and two goes into five you have two and you have remainder one and two goes into two you have one and you have remainder zero and you have two goes into one you have zero and you have remainder one okay so you're gonna take the digits from the bottom to the top okay so you have one zero one zero zero one zero 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 okay to base two all right so right now let's continue on this part of the board so the binary equivalent of 328 is equals to one zero one zero zero one zero 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 okay so let's write down this equation again so we have two to the power of a plus two to the power of b plus two to the power of c equals two one zero one zero zero one zero 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 okay this is equivalent to 10 to the power of 3 plus 10 to the power of 6 plus 10 to the power of 8 okay this and this are equal okay so you're gonna have 2 to the power of a plus 2 to the power of b plus 2 to the power of c equals to this okay so right now but the binary equivalent of 2 is 1 0 okay so 2 is 1 0 in binary so we can replace this with 2 all right so you're gonna have 2 to the power of a plus 2 to the power of b plus 2 to the power of c equals 2 instead of 1 0 to the power of 3 we're gonna write 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 6 plus 2 to the power of 8 okay so now the next thing we are going to do is to compare the exponents and remember the conditions a is less than or equals to b and b is less than or equals to c okay so if you compare this you're gonna see that a is equals to 3 b is equals to 6 and c is equals to 8 okay so let's continue on this part of the board now let's write out the conditions the first condition was that x y z are natural numbers okay Then the second condition was that a is less than or equals to b and b is less than or equals to c okay so for us to find the value of x 2y and 3c we need to ensure that we go back to these instructions okay we were told that x y and c are natural numbers all right that means 3 times c should be multiples of natural numbers all right so we have here 3 3 is a multiple of 3 all right so we're gonna write 3 and here 
the two y can either be six then x can be eight okay so if you take this three again in this case the two y can be eight and x can be six okay now let's take another multiple of three all right which is six all right if you take six that means 2y should be 8 and x will be 3 okay so right now 8 is not a multiple of 3 okay so we can't go for that so these are the possible values of x 2y and 3c okay so right now let's use these values to find the values of x y and C okay so if you look at this X here you have some values 8 6 and 3 okay so the values of X will be 8 6 and 3 okay so now let's consider Y here we have 2 Y so we will divide this by 2 so the Y will be 3 in this case the y will be 4 and in this case the y will be 4 as well all right so here we are dividing by 3 to find the value of c so 3 divided by 3 you're gonna have 1 and here again you're gonna have 1 and here we're gonna have 2 all right so these are the, the ordered pairs for x y and c okay so we have the first pair 1 two three okay so here if you go back to the equation you were told to find the number of ordered pairs okay so we have three pairs okay so the number of ordered pairs are three okay so you have one two and three all right so we have come to the end of the class and i believe you have learned a lot in this particular video and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the notification icon for updates on my videos. Thank you and goodbye.